Hi everyone, um, my name is Eva. I'm a final year anthropology student at UCL. And today, as part of the Anthropology Book and Film Club, I'm going to tell you a bit about the film Atlantics by Matty Diop. Um, it's a fictional feature film, but I still think it has a lot of anthropological relevance. Um, it was released in 2019 and you can stream it on Netflix at the moment, so I'd highly recommend doing that. Um, so I won't tell you exactly what happens in the film, but it's essentially an unfulfilled love story between two young people, Ada and Suleiman, um, who live in the suburbs of Dhaka in Senegal. And it's set in this interesting time right now where there are a lot of young people migrating out of Senegal, um, often undertaking dangerous journeys across the desert and the ocean um, to reach Europe or the US. Um, and migration has occurred for centuries in this part of West Africa, but in recent decades it's becoming uh, increasingly dangerous as a result of tightening uh, European immigration policies and border controls and things like that. Um, but Diop explores this interestingly through those people who are left behind, which is often women who stay at home and don't know uh, the fate of their loved ones or if they'll ever see them again. Um, and I think this kind of narrative is often overlooked in discussions around migration, but I think it's actually very important. Um, and Diop explores this also through this kind of um, ideas of longing and missing loved ones um, manifested through dreams and visions and uh, other sort of supernatural elements like spirit possession, which is also very culturally potent in Senegal. And this is really relevant for me because I'm currently writing my final year dissertation on migration in Senegal and what that means for the society that's left behind. Um, but in general, I think uh, Diop really conveys this in an interesting and original way. Um, so obviously when we're using film resources in anthropology, it's super useful, but we've got to think about who makes it, who controls this narrative. Um, but Mati Diop, she is a French Senegalese director. Uh, this is her debut feature film. Um, it won several awards, um, but uh, she's also made lots of shorter documentaries, which I encourage you to check out. But she's also the niece of Usman Khan, who um, pioneered the French, the Senegalese, sorry, um, film industry in the 70s and 80s. So um, that's definitely worth checking out some of his work as well. But in general, um, this is a really sort of relevant film um, with also a very beautiful um, love story, which is also heart achingly painful, but really enjoyable to watch. So I highly recommend looking it up on Netflix.